The team behind a Reading Sensory, Sensory Wellness Center is using its experiences to try and help people with developmental disabilities. The North States News' Devin Herenda is at the Wellness Center on Hilltop Drive tonight. Devin. Mike, Cassie Breslin and Ben Devonis are siblings working together at Sensory Innovations. They say their upbringing in the North State inspired them to use the business to give back to others. I wanted to come back to Reading and really provide community support for families like us. At Sensory Innovations, licensed occupational therapists offer sensory friendly programs, helping people improve self-regulation and enhance their motor skills, serving both neurodiverse and neurotypical kids and adults. Its owner and founder, Cassie Breslin, and her brother who has developmental disabilities, Ben DeBonis, both fill important roles here. While the two were growing up in Reading, Breslin and DeBonis bonded during his occupational therapy sessions. This inspired Breslin to go into occupational therapy and start Sensory Innovations. Here, DeBonis helps inspire and design their programs, as well as contribute to quality control. We really wanted to have a place where he could help educate the community as well on what sensory challenges are. And through that, we've really been able to build a strong community foundation here with people coming in and sharing their experiences with us and learning and growing together. They tell me there were challenging times during their childhoods while encountering people with a lack of understanding of the sensory processing difficulties Debonis experienced. Now the hope with sensory innovations is to provide education so families don't have to face similar social pressures. When we see families enjoy the aspect of the freedom here, they get to be able to be themselves and learn and grow in that safe space. That That's really meaningful for us. And it really hope um, inspire people to um, to enjoy, to enjoy this whole place. Breslin tells me a goal of theirs is to have neurodiverse and neurotypical people intermingling and learning from each other. They also hope to expand to more rural areas in the future. Live in Reading, Devin Renda, The North States News.